in, how is it going? Everyone, welcome to Puyo Puyo, the very first one. And I already beat this game, but I wanted to play it, well, to beat it in a more specific way. So, this game has a difficulty setting that you can set from easy to hardest. Uh, that I don't know what it really changes. I think it changes the gravity like even at like Stage six it's super fast or something like that But that's not all uh, when you play the game um, Wait, it saves right? Yeah, it just saves there uh, When you play the game you can select three routes uh, Which are the beginner one the normal one well, you will see there, here, you know, basically. So, I beat this in normal, but I want to beat it in difficult. So this is gonna be full tryharding. Hey, Draenoth, how is it going? So yeah, you start from stage 4, but I'm also almost sure that this makes the the AI harder as well, like this difficult route. Like, I don't think it's just that you start from this level, but like, that's not the only effect. But, you know, no, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it does affect that. Alone on a Sunday night? I mean, this, <laughs> being alone on a Sunday night, well, unless you are married, uh, it's more common than you think, because that's when you actually need to prepare for work, you know? So... If it was Saturday, I will understand, but Sunday is pretty common to be alone, if you are not married. But yeah, don't worry about it. Also, how is it going, Kyle and Blue? Yeah, I'm playing Puyo on the hardest of the hardest of the hardest uh, difficulty because I'm just not very bright in my head, so you know. Here we go. Gotta do it this way. My sting is deadly. <laughs> White issue. Should do like Doctor Disrespect does. Should get yourself two wives. So that way, if anything goes wrong, you have one to spare. You know, a good strategy. Yeah. Might be hard to pull off though. take Revation Streets of Rage? Well, it depends how much time there is. If there is not enough time, then no. Because keep in mind that I don't even know if I can beat this. That's the thing. I probably can, but... Uh, you know, this is not an easy challenge, particularly. Like, I, I believe in my abilities, but... You know, maybe I'm, I might be underestimating the, the scale of this challenge, but no, we should be fine. I mean, I played before I started the stream, just to see how hard it was, and it wasn't, at least these first levels, they weren't that big of a deal. Like, it wasn't something that looked unbeatable. Obviously, it's not like I went too far. But seems like something that with a couple of attempts I can do. Uh, the problem is obviously the, the final levels. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Well, aside from that, you know that 
Wait, before that? Oh, my bad. That's the wrong button. You're supposed to press uh, X. If you press start. See, that's the problem. When the games tell me to press start, I press start. But pressing start here opens the boss menu. You know? <laughs> The, the post menu of the uh, thing. By the thing, I mean the, the Sega Ages menu. I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, it's okay, don't worry. I believe in you things. I kind of believe in myself too, but not that much. Just the, the right amount. People say it's just a specific amount. But yeah, I don't know. We will see. Uh, I was about to say, by the way, I did check a strategy of the final boss of the Streets of Rage 3, which is the only reason why I didn't want going clear. Uh, and the strategy is basically the same shit that I was doing as a kid with Shiva, which is champing around like an idiot. That's the strategy. You you champ kick until he's dead. That final boss is so fucking trash. It's a shame because the rest of the game is very good, but that final boss is garbage. And it's garbage, especially when you cons when you compare it to the ones in the previous two games. Which, the, the one in the first game was a little bit bullshit, but... Like, it at least made sense. And, like, how the game was there, right? Like, it seemed like a, like a good conclusion. Uh, also, let me check the camera. No, the camera is fine. Don't worry. Probably don't want to... Wait, it, this, it doesn't even say press start. Oh, okay, yeah, it says it there, but only after you put the, the coin. Uh, but yeah, what I was out to say is that even if Streets of Rage won, the final boss is a little bit bullshit. At least it makes sense in... In context, you know? And you also don't have a shitty time limit. That's the worst part. Like, I know that time limits are not something unheard of, especially in arcade games of all things. But it's the... Um, well, not only that, but the game also has a time limit before that. Um, but even then, to have a time limit on a gimmicky boss is shitty. If it was any other boss, maybe, but that boss, dude... Fire! I storm! I storm! I storm! Okay, I need a yellow. Will you give it to me? See, those are not yellow. Those are all the colors but yellow. No, no. What I need is yellow. Yellow. Yeah, that, that one, exactly, good shit. Well, this guy is fucking dead, there is no way you survive that. Oh, no, he's not gonna survive. He's not gonna survive that. There is no way you survive that. If this was Puyo 2, he would have survived. In Puyo 1, no matter how well you do, if your opponent sent you a good attack, you are fucking dead. Am I not dancing? Damn. Your song is shit! That's why, because your song is shit! A time limit though, I agree. What's a shame is that... Um, for the leaderboards, if you pick the hardest difficulty, not the hardest route, but the hardest difficulty counts as freestyle. It doesn't count for the standard leaderboard. 
Which is a shame, though not like it matters, because the only way to get a good score is to one coin clear. And good I like, good luck trying to one coin clear this game when you're not good at Puyo. Yeah, very Very good luck. Obviously, if you are good at Puyo, this game might be one of the easiest ones to beat because as soon as you do a 5 or 6 chain, uh, you win. <laughs> like, that's it. You don't need anything more than that. If you do a 6 5 chain, which is something that Puyo pros can do like it's nothing, you win. It doesn't matter what your opponent does, you just win <laughs> by default. Because the way the, 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 the game works. So yeah. If you're a Puyo Pro, this game is free. But if you're not a Puyo Pro like me, then this game is pretty far from being free. So yeah. Smug Blue Raymo. Yeah, I gotta say that. The way Arle looks in the cover of this game is very enticing, I, I gotta say. It looks, I will say, flawless. I, in other covers she looks a lot more cartoony and shit, because that's like the point of the series. But in this particular cover of Puyo, she just looks so good. I'm, I'm gonna try to refrain myself from saying anything else, because you never know when the police might be watching. But yeah, I'm just gonna say that she looks very good. Oh, speaking of the police... Uh, you know that I've been playing a lot of, uh, a lot of Nike, especially yesterday. I like the game. You know, I know that what I'm gonna say sounds like absolute bullshit, and I don't blame you, but I find the story to be very interesting. Or at least, I don't know if the story, but the setting to be very interesting. Like, I know, you think that I'm full of shit, but I really think the, the, the setting is very interesting. It's a shame that there are so many characters that are assholes. But that's okay. I guess it's more realistic that way. Speaking of the police, I'm streaming from Shale. <laughs> oh no, not yet. The plot and the plot are interesting, yeah. No, I mean... I, I was saying, speaking of the police, I pulled for a, for a character today and I got one of the... like the SSR characters and she's a police officer. Unpleasant human. But yeah. And I'm really taking a liking uh, to the game. Uh, you know? Like, I know that at some point the same thing that happened to me with KOF Fall Stars is most likely gonna happen. Which is the game becomes impossible without paying. Maybe that will happen. In fact, it most likely will happen. But if that happens, just like with KOF uh, All Stars, it only happens when the story is done. And what I just want is to beat the story. Like I don't care about like the, like the Abyss equivalent of of that game. I just want to see how the story goes until the end. And if I can do that without needing to sell my uh, organs, that's pretty good. It most likely will be that way. Oh, 
I didn't read the dialogue. It, all right, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm probably not gonna win anyways. Or am I? Also, I think I understand. Diffi the, the difficulty is obviously related to the to the speed of the Puyo's falling, the gravity, basically. Um, and it seems that every time you continue, and I, I read this, oh, no. and I wasn't expecting the fucking rock to uh, to to land there. God damn it. That's so bullshit. I didn't expect the rock there. If the rock wasn't there, I would have done a, a decent chain. Okay, what do, does the dialogue say? Any last words? Seems that Maris here has some... has some short use issues that's okay also you know what I say that if I beat this in time I will play Streets of Rage 3 but the issue is that I don't have the controller I mean, well, I do, but I, I mean that I need to stand up. Uh, and that's a pain in the ass, is what I'm trying to say. Standing up and go for it. Yeah, that, 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 that really seems like an issue. No, it's alright. It could be worse. I don't like doing it when I'm streaming at least. Like standing up to go to go pick something up. If I wasn't streaming it would be whatever, but since I'm streaming I, I don't like doing that sort of shit. I don't know, well another thing that I could play is uh, Crash Team Racing. For that I don't need to change the controller. Or anything. I, I mean, I just need to go to the... To the menu, select the game and that's it. Because it's a Switch game as well. Um, what was I about to say? I was about to say something about... Probably wasn't important. What's important is how much I'm fucking up here. Not a single chain. Pretty nice. Because I messed up at the beginning. Though the colors... I mean, I'm not playing well, but I feel like the... The colors might be cocking me a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I still don't know exactly when the the quick switch happens. It's alright. So I'm not really sure if you can... No, I think you can uh, play the shot. Yeah, it, it was in the, in the options. You can select if you want to play the Japanese version or the international one. 
Okay. I prefer the international one mostly because of the <laughs> of being able to understand the dialogues, you know. It's pretty nice to be able to do that. gonna be huge. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're dead. I don't think you can recover from that. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this guy that uh, he gets completely forgotten. Pretty sad how this guy basically doesn't matter at all after the the third Puyo game. Well, even in the third Puyo game, I'm, like he's just an NPC. He like he is not even an opponent, right? It's a shame because he has a cool design. But I guess the issue is that he's not cute enough. Damn. This is falling down a little bit too fast, I'm realizing. A, a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, that might not be okay. This might not be really okay, after all. Right? Oh, that, that's a good chain. So, he, just, he still has a pretty clean grid, for some reason. Ah, uh, that had to land there. Man, just my luck. Oh, I couldn't do the quick switch. Then. Well, I'm there. Oh no! Well, this is supposed to be the first uh, opponent that is actually challenging, as you can see by the fact that the the background and the cutscenes completely change. And even after continue, you're still going pretty fast. I guess that's the hardest difficulty going into effect. Just like that. Getting so unlucky with the with the rocks or garbage blocks, whatever you wanna call them. I'm getting extremely unlucky. Like they are landing in the perfect places to stop me from what I'm doing. Okay, that will hurt him a little bit at least. Just a little bit. Also Something that I gotta give it to Puyo is that it feels great how versatile it 
it feels fun. You got me. Oh no! Compared to something like columns, right? You know that in columns you are only allowed to place things vertically and you cannot even spin them. And even in Tetris that it's something that relies on spinning the pieces. I don't think you have the amount of freedom that you have here and that's because you can just drop a Puyo down without much uh, issues, you know? Like, you can basically put a Puyo horizontally and make the other Puyo fall down. It's very versatile in that regard. Allows for a lot of creativity and especially the fact that it's only two Puyos at a time. It's very cool. holding his own very well. Another thing that I noticed, like I was uh, watching myself playing Columns the other day, Columns 3, and while I was watching I was noticing so many combinations that I could have gone for that were way better than what I was going for. And it's the kind of thing that really makes you think thin. Like, why are you not doing this, you fucking moron? Right? So, I will assume that playing a game like this will give a similar effect. Like, there is probably so many better things to do than the ones I'm doing that it's probably hard to watch. It's alright. I, I, I will just say that I'm a complete novice at this. That way, there are no expectations. But yeah, it, it's very different. Like when you are playing something, like regardless of how good you are, because it applies as well when I play Toko. Like I might not be the best Toko player ever, but a lot of times I'm like, Wait, why didn't I go for this dodge instead of doing what I did, right? And there are a lot of things that are a lot easier to, to see when you are not playing than when you are playing. Might not seem like it, but it really is that way. A lot of things are just a lot easier when you're watching than when you actually have the controller in your hand. I'm not sure why, like what's the explanation for that? I guess it's that you are more relaxed when you are not playing so you can focus more on things that otherwise you ignore. Oh, we have Schizo here. Very 
There is no right way to play puzzle games. Only thing that matters if you having fun. Well, this is a fun game to play. I mean, piling Puyos... Especially when your opponent is not that good. Pretty cool. The me. opponents in this game... Like, even the final boss... Is not really the smartest... In terms of... What he goes for, right? I would say that it's enjoyable because of that. Like, if this game had an AI like Columns 3, it would be a different story. I, the AI in Columns 3, I like the final boss particularly, it, it really is... It's very well done. Because it really feels that... That's how a player will play optimally, right? Like, a good player. Like, it perfectly represents that. Like, it doesn't cheat or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just a perfect player. Which obviously, it's hard to beat, but you know. By the way, that reminds me, did you play um, Blue uh, Columns 3 afterwards? Or what? Or do you still... Have you still not touched it? Didn't get around it? That's fine. Keep in mind that it can be a very frustrating experience. Especially since the enemies actually taunt you when you lose. It can be very... Yeah, very tilting. That's okay. And again, you don't need to play in the hard difficulty. You, got me. you don't play in the hard difficulty, even when you win, you get a bad ending. But yeah. That's kind of a problem. This guy is called Debbie here. Debbie what? Is he supposed to be like devil? Or, or whatever? Or, or what's the the big deal? This guy is not a devil, this guy is just a moron. You know. He doesn't really mean ill. Just a little bit insufficient in the head, you know. But I don't know why it says Debbie. Like what it's supposed to spell out. Because if it's devil, it's not really fitting for this guy. Anything being called devil will make him look cool. Maybe his name is literally supposed to be Debbie in the English version. I mean, Debbie sounds like a name. Well, in fact, I think it is a name. I can say that it's very common. But, you know. I, I think it is a name. No, 
no, uh, that wasn't the right place to put that. My bad. That's not even a word, right? I don't think so. Well, that will work at least. Now things are getting tough for him, though he can still build a lot of stuff, but it's gonna cost him a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Okay, now you need to think of something, cause you're gonna die. And he did die. Something that I find interesting is that when the, the CPU dies, they almost always have the whole screen filled. Which makes sense, I guess. We have the Minotaur. Yeah, so far, well, something that I think that changes in this route is that I think when you reach the the final boss, uh, Satan is masked for some reason. Or at least that's what I remember reading. If he's not not masked, I will be disappointed. But you never know. Maybe, maybe he will be. Oh, I'm messing up quite a little. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know what I was going for there. I had a lot of possibilities and I didn't settle for a single one of them. That's a shame. Well, it was pretty interesting, uh, like I read in some in some place that for some specific collections of games this game was like the the Asian version of the of the game and the English version of the game was supposed to be Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Even though the two of them are different games. I think for that specific collection, they were considered the, best, the, the, the same game. Pretty interesting. I mean, technically, the way they play it is the same game, but you know. Everything else is quite different. Yeah. I guess if you show. an American company these characters they just melt down they are too cute or maybe they will replace every every opponent with a variation of this Minotaur that will be something you got me Even this Minotaur, to some degree, looks quite innocent. 
Doesn't look very intimidating at all. Oh, nice. Attacking this guy quite a bit. And even with all these attacks that I'm doing, he's still faring pretty well. Still not a cracking. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Well, by the looks of it, it seems like it's gonna last for quite some time. But that's fine. You defend from that? Oh, he can definitely. Unfortunately, he can. This guy is ready for everything. Oh, there goes that. Damn, I, I don't think I played bad there. Well, except at the end, I guess. And even then I got... ...beaten by this guy. Is quite the the fierce opponent. You got me. You got me. You got me. was pretty fast. Like then, didn't waste any time on that. No, no time wasted. This will. He's more than I. He's dead, by the way. Him. He got killed immediately. That was that was interesting. That's what happens when you get a a very good chain. That's just what happens. Here comes Lulu. You know, I feel like it's a pretty funny dialogue because you know that there is a meme that says uh, what was it like um, the myth of consent, right? And there is like a boy, or a, well, a boy, a man and a woman, and they say I consent. The other one says I consent, and a completely unrelated person says I don't. It is exactly the same. So here Lulu wants to marry the Dark Prince, or Satan, whatever. And Arle doesn't want to let that happen. So that's um, an interesting development it's like she, she has no reason for for what I understand I mean it's not like she's interested in the prince 
Or maybe she's interested in Lulu. That could be a, a thing. But yeah, I don't know. Anything is possible. But yeah. It's alright, don't worry. Also, I, I don't see Satan having a mask here. Maybe to do that, you might need to one coin clear. Because I remember reading somewhere that if you pick the difficult path, Satan appears with a mask. But I see no mask in here. See absolutely no mask. I guess I got scammed. I know that he does have a mask in the second game. In order to get the mask on the second game, you have to do like a combination of of things to you know, fight some specific characters and whatever. A, a lot of stuff like that. And it, it, it's hard to do. Basically, need to consistently play well. I definitely wouldn't be able to do it there. In this game, I thought it was as simple as just uh, like beating the game in in difficult. But I'm not seeing any mask on him. I guess the... I guess there is no mask. The mask is a lie. Oh, I messed that up. Well, if I get it, actually, that's fine. The, the, the chain could have been better. That's gonna hurt. I guess it could have been worse. You got me. Now it's gonna be worse. Yeah. Oh, no. Lulu is not fooling around. That much is sure. So I, I still feel like there is not much difference between this difficult mode and the normal mode. Aren't they both just as hard? I will have to, to rewatch my playthrough in, in that other difficulty because something is not right. <laughs> because this doesn't seem that different. I mean, obviously I'm getting destroyed now, but... Uh, that, that's not important. I, I will have to observe the way the, the enemy behaves. Oops. Obviously right now I really cannot watch the way they behave because I'm too busy trying to look at my screen. But yeah. It's a shame that the Sega Ages menu itself doesn't tell you what the difficulties do. You got me. It's pretty hot in here, by the way. Uh, probably one of the hottest days lately. Like, I gotta say that it's a, a little bit hard to stream right now with this heat. But hey, at least I'm using the switch. 
So my computer doesn't generate as much heat as if I was playing anything else. Oh, no. yeah, it's a little bit rough. These last two days haven't been very kind to us in terms of temperature. On the bright side, apparently the net's weak. I, I, like, I fail to believe how much of this is true, but apparently on the next week, like, it will rain for five days straight. I really don't believe that will be the case, but if it is the case, would be pretty cool because the temperature of course will be forced to go down. The problem is that going out to buy shit will be a pain in the ass. But that's fine. Sometimes it just happens. Hey, I don't think I remember many days that it's been raining for so many days straight. Like, maybe I can remember two consecutive days with rain. Maybe three. But five? This feels hard to believe. I mean, it's obviously technically possible. It's not that we're talking about an impossibility, but... Yeah, Lulu died. And she died because she wasn't playing well. Not because I was playing well. Alright. And here comes Satan. But he doesn't have any mass. encounter Got me. So I remember this song being faster Most likely misremembering I just remember it being faster sound effect is also completely different when they land. Well, when they land and when they uh, blow up, different in both cases. had to land right there. Not like it would have changed much, but still. And also, this fight in particular... I, I really don't feel like there's any... any difference at all. Hmm. 
maybe the only difference in this is if you don't use continue. I don't know. That's not something that's gonna happen. You need to be a... A very good player for something like that to happen. Satan. they get close to me? Like, are they not afraid that they are gonna get killed? Don't they have any survival instincts? Why do they come near me? Are they stupid? Isn't it stop distracting me? Well, well, not like the match was going pretty well anyways. Still, it would be going better if you didn't distract me. See, that's one of the reasons why, you know, in case you're one of those people that get sad when you kill an insect, right? Which I guess it's understandable, but you have to think about it this way. They are barely alive. They are extremely dumb, you know? Uh, they are, they might as well be considered forces of nature, just like the air, just like the earth, just like the water, like they are not much different than that, like they, they barely have any intelligence in them, so if you need to kill a fly, don't feel bad about it, I mean I know I don't, in case you do, don't worry too much about it. Flies truly are not smart. They are kinda like the opposite of smart. Don't even get sold when you kill a person. You know that lately? I've been reading a, a show on the internet about Chile and people from Chile having an evil bloodline. Like, you know the, the Mishima guys from Tekken, that they have the devil bloodline? Well, I, I heard that. Some people from Chile are descendants of, uh, of an evil bloodline. Are you one of them, Kyle? I don't know exactly how to translate the word they use. Like, descendant is not the right word, but it's related to bloodlines, right? So are you one of those? Are you part of an evil bloodline? Hey, that's okay. I don't mind. That's cool with me. But are you?
Do you have evil blood flowing through your veins? Is that how it is? Uh, better than having flo flowing it outside your veins, that's for sure. But yeah. Here is that you're forced to play fast because the gravity is almost set to maximum. Whether you like it or not, you will play fast, which will give you a chance to, to beat this guy. Oh, no. Otherwise, if you could just use any speed, you will have to manually go down. Rival his speed. Damn it, I'm not getting it. that. That's the one I need. A shame all that column on the left, all that residual shit, just being there. That's fine. Up. I, uh, I wasn't. Oh, no. I thought I was supposed to dunk. Uh, it's okay. I, I didn't see the color properly. Or I confused the color. Rather. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, no. That's the first time I hear that. And yeah, that, that does hurt. Hey Yannick, how is it going? You know that... Today I was playing Nike and... I basically did two individual pulls instead of doing the pulls from 10. I did two individual ones. And literally one after the other I got an SSR. So I basically got two SSRs one after the other. Can you believe that? That's something. I wasn't expecting to happen. I guess now I should try pulling individually, maybe. How is that possible? I don't know, but it happened. I got the... I got the, the detective girl that I think you also have. And I got a police officer. The one that is supposed to be a puppy. I got those two. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't really care about the, the detective, but I like the police officer. Oh, no. Yeah, she's cute. It's called... Uh, what was her name? I completely forgot about her name. But yeah, doesn't matter. Point is that... Um, yeah, I got that.
Yeah, Polly, exactly. That, that was the name. Yeah, very straightforward name. But yeah, she's a, a cool character. The detective, I didn't like her too much because... I feel like it's one of those characters that is... You know, it's kind of like the nurse that you get at the beginning, right? That I also for Neon is called, I think. Uh, it's like that, that it's just a dumb character, but it's dumb and kind of annoying. So that's how I feel about uh, the detective too, you know. But on the other hand, Polly is, well, a little bit dumb, maybe, but at least she's cute, you know? But yeah, oh, no. if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be cute. Otherwise, you know, well, either cute or have an interesting design. And the detective doesn't really look interesting at all. In fact, she, she looks like a VTuber. I think the VTuber is called Amalia something. So that makes me like her even less. But yeah. I don't think I'm gonna level her up. Hard to take her seriously when she won't fit fits her skirt. Yeah. I guess that's another thing. It's constantly exposing her ass and talking like it's nothing. And the worst part is that when you do the burst limit, she gets she blushes because her ass is exposed. And I'm like that's not the only time that it's exposed, you know? The good thing is that I was able to limit break both Rappi and... Uh, and Anis. But that's cool, at least they will be usable for a long time. That's pretty cool. Aside from that... Yeah. Not, not much out of the ordinary. With her firepower motto. Yeah, I guess, but I think that it's just not very unique, you know? Th that's the thing. If it was a... A unique gimmick, but I feel like that sort of gimmick is not really very unique. You know? Like, I, I don't mind that it's not unique, but I feel like it's presented as if it was unique. That, that's the issue. And like, characters like that, that are obsessed with power, are very... Or explosions or whatever, are very common, you know? But yeah, I don't like her at all, really. But that's okay. Maybe one day. Oops. That was fast. But yeah, it's alright. Um... I still didn't get the wish list, by the way. I'm like four pools away from that. And I also noticed that you get some crystals that you can exchange for a guaranteed SR or SSR. And I don't know if the wish list affects that. I want to wait to use them until I unlock the wish list just in case. But it's cool. 
that you get some guarantee at least. Though, no the guaranteed but a higher rate. No, no, like you are guaranteed to get. Oh well, yeah, you you are not guaranteed to an SSR, but like you won't get a, a normal unit. Though, funnily enough, there is one common unit that I don't have. And the interesting part is that I need that common unit to continue with the academy studies uh, in the outpost. And I can't because I, instead of having that, I have three SSR units, but I don't have one common unit that is necessary. I find that to be very amusing, you know? There are nine common units in total and I have eight. That one that I don't have is basically blocking the progress in the academy. Well, that and the lack of money, I guess. It's messed up. What are the odds of that situation happening? You know? Uh, maybe they are not that low. They shouldn't be that high either. Give me a yellow. There you go. I think that Satan is sweating a little bit. Are you nervous? Surely. Well, I'm fucking up quite a lot. You better die soon, because if I keep... Okay, yeah, you're dead. Well, there you have it. Game. Well, that really wasn't as hard as I expected it to be, to be honest. But I don't think there is many different with the normal difficulty, really. Wait around for a little bit? What you mean? Wait for what? Alright. Let's wait around, I guess. Oh, yeah. she, she thinks. I'm getting many, too many oh, SSR. Yeah, that, that's, that's the case, you know. Yeah. This boss reminds me of that stoner Mebius. Who is Mebius? Kobe Captain. Yeah, these are all opponents that you don't fight if you pick difficult. Oh, the yeah, the the, the, vamp the vampire in Twinkle Star. Yeah, I, I remember that guy. Well, that guy probably got inspired by this guy. Pretty sure Satan in this game came first. But yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like there wasn't that big of a difference in difficulty. In fact, I, 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 I oh, he's called Devius in this game instead of Skizo. I don't know. I'm not sure. And you? No, it says an carbuncle. You don't exist. You are not a not a factor here. Yeah. So as you can see, because I play on hardest difficulty, it's just 
counts it as freestyle. It doesn't count as a, a regular high score. Not like I care again. Because I mean, my highest score is 34,000. While the world record is like 200,000, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was uh, Puyo Puyo uh, on hardest uh, difficult for the Sega Ages. So, uh, she she's for that. Um, 